Welcome to this week's episode of Debriefing Design. As more of us are spending extended periods of time in our homes, it's a great time for making those updates we've been holding off on. Today, we'll take a peek at how we broke down the wall that separated this kitchen and family room and turned it into a flowing great room worthy of entertaining with a bar, bonus homework area, and reading nook. This is Operation Barn Slate. Our clients recently purchased their home and had trouble envisioning how to properly utilize the family room that was partially cut off from the kitchen. They wanted an open layout so when they entertained, guests could easily interact with the hustle and bustle of food and drinks being prepared. In addition, they have a young daughter and the wife wanted the ability to help her with homework while she was getting ready for mealtime. The house was constructed in the early 90s and had a wall separating the kitchen from the family room which obstructed about 50% of the view between the rooms. The original kitchen layout had an awkward angle that didn't fit in with the design of the house and had an abundance of open space between the sink area and cooking zone. There was also a built-in mail sorting desk and breakfast nook with a patio door leading out to the backyard. Stylistically, the house had been updated prior to our client's purchase. Unfortunately, the updates seemed to have occurred over a period of time and felt like the previous owner's tastes changed partway through. The kitchen had limestone backsplash and Santa Cecilia granite countertops finishing out the warm wood toned cabinets. The family room and dining room had medium toned wood flooring and the majority of wet areas had been updated to a faux slate looking ceramic tile in Versailles pattern accompanied with some of the largest grout joints we had ever seen. Because of the various material changes on the floor, the layout of the house felt much more divorced than it actually was. Having recently moved back to the States from Asia, our clients were concerned about the durability of flooring options that would hold up to wear and tear and also water as they were planning on constructing a pool in their backyard at a later date. As flooring technology has evolved, it has allowed us to utilize materials differently. Back in the 90s, you would often see an area of tile flooring by the back patio door in the middle of a room of carpet or wood just to protect the rest of the floors from rain or water. Luckily, with the advancement of wood look porcelains, we were able to achieve the warm look of wood while making sure the floors could be durable and withstand water when the clients built their pool. We also find one continuous floor material throughout an entire level of a house is often the easiest way to eliminate the chopped up layout look. When building a builder spec house, clients often don't realize how a change of flooring limits their ability of placing furniture until after they've moved in. To tackle unifying the kitchen and family room, we took down the wall separating the two spaces and planned for a large island that could double as a breakfast counter. We sized the island accordingly so we could run the water connection from the original sink to the new island sink with minimum cutting of concrete and also reuse the water supply from the original refrigerator for a new bar sink. We wanted to make the opening from the kitchen into the dining area feel less claustrophobic, so we tore out the existing pantry and relocated the refrigerator in its place. Due to the death of the original pantry, we were able to implement a design tip. Typical freestanding refrigerators are much deeper than a kitchen counter. A countertop with about an inch overhang is usually around 25 to 26 inches deep. A standard refrigerator is usually about 33 to 34 inches deep, including the handles. A neat way of getting the built-in look without shelling out the money for a built-in fridge is to locate the refrigerator somewhere you have extra space. We utilized as much space from the original pantry as we needed for the refrigerator and were able to give the master bedroom a new closet on the backside of the space. Because the breakfast nook wasn't being used by our clients, we repurposed it into a homework and reading nook by custom building a work surface for two with built-in storage along with a seat with storage drawers below. Another design tip. For families with young children, we typically recommend upholstering in an indoor-outdoor fabric. In our case, we had the seat cushion upholstered in perennial fabric so it could withstand wear and tear and would be easy to hose down if needed. To address our problem regarding style, we got rid of all of the rustic iron light fixtures and replaced them with satin nickel fixtures with white linen shades. The ceiling in the space was already 10 feet, so by replacing the medium stain cabinetry with new taller white cabinets, the space felt much taller. 
We also accentuated the height of the volume by incorporating LED tape lights along the top of the wall of cabinetry so there was a subtle glow. We also incorporated a strip of LED tape lights in the toe kick of the island to give an illusion of a floating island. To complement the new white cabinets, we used a matte glass subway tile and a beautiful ocean blue and installed two tones of quartz countertops. In the family room, we eliminated the brick fireplace round, hearth, and mantle along with the existing built-in cabinetry and wet bar. The original location for the television to the left of the fireplace created an awkward furniture arrangement, so we redesigned the wall with the TV mounting above the fireplace. In lieu of the old built-ins on either side of the fireplace, we created modern niches with built-in lighting for the family to display their art and sculpture collection. Thanks for joining us this week on Debriefing Design. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions or feedback about this project. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for new episodes. Operation Barn Slate, case closed.